How do we compute such statistical correlations? The Pearson correlation coefficient is perhaps the best known indicator of correlation, but this is suitable only for linear dependence, that is, if you have two ranges of values. What we want instead is a correlation between two binary values. On one side, we have the outcome of the run, either fail or pass. And then for each line, we know that it's either covered or uncovered. And we want to come up with a correlation between coverage on one side and outcome of the run on the other side. So the Pearson correlation coefficient is not appropriate for this. But there's another measure for such correlation, and it was also invented by Pearson. It's called the phi coefficient. The phi coefficient starts with a table. In this table, you count how frequently a line was covered in failing runs, as well as in passing runs. And of course, you also count how frequently it was not covered in failing runs, as well as in passing runs. These four values take the names n11, n10, n01, n00, respectively, where the first digit stands for covered versus uncovered, and the second digit stands for fail versus pass. You also compute sums over all rows, as well as sums over all columns, as well as the total sum of events. This, then, is the phi coefficient. It consists of multiplying the values in the, in the first diagonal and subtracting the product of the second diagonal. This is then normalized according to the square root of the sums over the columns and rows. The phi coefficient is high if one diagonal has a high value and the other diagonal has a low value. If it's this diagonal, which has a high value, that's down here, then it becomes positive. If it's this diagonal, which has a high value, then it becomes negative. So the higher the value in one diagonal and the lower the value in the other diagonal, the stronger the correlation. Our plan now is we compute the phi correlation for each line, and then we rank the lines from high correlation to low correlation. And we start, of course, with the strongest correlation. Let me illustrate how the phi coefficient is computed on a simple example. Let's assume we have a line in our program and a number of runs. In the first run, line 10 is executed and the run fails. So what we enter in the table for this line is that we now have seen one instance where it covered and failed. Next thing that happens with this line is that it's not covered and the run passes. So we add a 1 in this part of the table. Next thing we see, it's covered and it fails. So the value in our table becomes 2. And then again, we see uncovered and it passes. So now we have seen two instances of the line being uncovered and passing. Let's assume these are just the four runs that we observed. Then we have seen no instance of the line being covered and passing, and no instance of the line being uncovered and failing. Let's quickly sum up the remaining rows and columns. We have seen two instances where the line was covered, and two where it was uncovered. We have seen two instances where it failed, and two instances where it passed. Total number of events is four.